What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a really dark, dramatic, sultry look with metallic glow and a sneak peek at a new product. So, have fun watching this and get ready for something special. Alright, for brows today we're going to go back to the old school Jeffree Star pink brow and I'm going to use a few products that I've never used for the brow before. Now I love Anastasia's dip brow, so when I saw this cream color in Barbie pink, I was like, ooh, it's gonna be a good brow color. Now, I love to draw them on with a pencil first to try to get the shape down, so I'm gonna be using this OCC colored pencil in shade Anime today, and let's see what happens. This is a cunty eyebrow. We are adding a little bit of pink gel on the brow. Powder over the brows. All right, pink brows, we are good. Now let's move on to eyeshadow. All right, for today's eye look, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Monarch Palette and the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Now these are very versatile and I'm mainly going to be using this guy today, this like burnt orange sienna color, the black one, and then from this one we're going to be using the lightest shade on here. And we'll dip into some of the browns to get a really nice chocolate eye going here. So first step that I always, always do is I take my MAC 252 brush and I'm going to take the lightest shade here and I'm just going to start packing it on under the brow and I'm going to take this shade and pull it all the way past the brow into my tattoo. Now I'm going to take this Gucci eyeshadow blending brush. What number is this? This is the number 20. Before I do any of my black shadow, I'm going to take this burnt orange color and I'm just going to start blending it up and out. We want our eye sockets to look airbrushed at all times. Now we can move on and start putting some darks in. All right, now I'm gonna pack some black shadow in there. I'm gonna use my MAC 217 brush. Now I love these black shadows. They are so pigmented. I'm just gonna take this and start buffering it on my lid. Now, we all know I like to blow, so I blow on my brushes. Just like I said in my last video, do not blow on your brushes if you're doing anyone else's makeup. If you see, uh, if you have a client and they see you blowing, it's gonna be bad news. Once this black is kind of laid down here, I'm gonna take this MAC 224 brush and just start to blend the black up a little bit into that orange color. It's time to do the under eyes. For under my eyes, we are gonna darken them really black. Now to do that, I'm gonna use my favorite MAC eyeliner. This is called Smolder. And we're just gonna lightly pull this down and put some liner in the waterline. I'm going to drag this liner a little below the lash line so I can smoke it out and use it as my second blending tool. Now this does not have to be perfect because we're gonna probably Put more liner later after we put some shadows down there and blend it out. All right, we got the foundation of our liner down. Now we are going to start smoking and buffing it out. Now I'm gonna use the same black shadow as before, but I'm also gonna be dipping in some brown colors. I'm gonna be using some Anastasia shadows for the bottom as well. We're gonna stick with the Kat Von D black shade. What I like to do is I'll dip my brush into the black shadow so it's already coated on the bristles. And then I'm gonna go in and dip into the chocolate shade so they are both on the brush. And I am just going to lightly start buffering in this color. And I'm gonna bring it down so my under eyes are really smoky. To buff out the under eye and help it look really flawless, I'm gonna be using this tiny Morphe 513 brush. I love this one, it's perfect for detail. And I'm just gonna take some of the chocolate shade by itself and just lightly go over what I just did. And there we go. All right, under eyes are smoked out. All right, I'm gonna add some 
kind of dark glitter to my lids. Now this is from Lit Cosmetics. I am obsessed with this color. It's called Goth. It's like a really cool, almost like dirty green, like dirty money. So I'm gonna be putting this on with the MAC Cream Color Base. This is shade Luna. So I'm just going to lightly apply this over my lid and then the glitter. Love how this is looking. Now I love putting glitter over dark shadow. You do you don't have to do this step, just give you that extra like, hmm, hello, good morning. Hi, how are you? Alright, now I'm gonna do some lashes to finish off this eye look, and of course I'm gonna go back to my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is my favorite wand at the moment. And we are just going to coat them before applying any false lash. All right, time for lashes. And now before I do my lashes, I gotta take a quick little smoke break here. Perfect. You always gotta take at least one hit before the lashes because that's a stressful motherfucking situation, girl. Now, my favorite lashes currently are Russian Black from New Bumsum. I love this brand, they are amazing. I'm gonna be using my Vegan Duo Lash Glue. This is my favorite. Give it a little wave, let it dry slightly. And while it's drying, I'm just going to pop this on. See the difference a lash makes? You guys know I'm all about my metallic highlight. I want to be glowing from fucking the moon. So we are going to be using Max O oh Darling. Um, extra Dimension Skin Finish from their holiday collection. I know this sold out in like an hour in America. Y'all bitches is crazy. So I'm just gonna go right above my contour and just start putting it everywhere. I wanna make my cheek look like a beacon of light and hope. Now if you wanna go crazy, which is why we're here, right? We're gonna add a little bit right above the cupid's bow. And I like to bring it slightly down so in photos your lipstick is like BAM! Now if you want to add a little bit of color to your cheeks you can. Just for effect I'm going to be using some Tarte blushes from their holiday collection. And I really like this one called Doll Face. It's really softy pink. And I'm just going to take my NARS Kabuki brush and I'm just going to kind of barely touch the cheeks. Just to add a little bit of color today. Alright, now it's time for the lips. All right guys, now today is not just any, hmm, I wonder what lipstick I'm gonna wear. Today is a big moment for me. Next year in the spring, we're talking March, April in the Jeffrey Land, I will be releasing a new lipstick. This is a satin finish lip. It is called Lip Ammunition and it looks like this. The formula is satin creamy, like this shit feels nice. The shade is called X Supermodel. Do a little swatch in my hand. One swipe coverage. This will top off this look really nicely. This smells so good, it's like ice cream. This shade is called X Supermodel. These will be retailing for $19. I'm launching quite a few shades and some of your favorite liquid lip shades may be in this formula as well. So. Get ready guys, I have a lot of exciting things coming up. The look is complete, but it is definitely not complete until we use our Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. All right, and we are done. All right guys, this is the finished look. I brought some crazy glam, some glitter, some big lashes and a new little sneak peek at a new product. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys wanna see as far as makeup products. Let's talk product, you guys. I wanna know what you guys wanna see next. Let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.